Here's my vintage, another vintage Russian watch, or, or should I say a Soviet watch. It's a Payat. Uh, I'm not even sure if that's the right way to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced different ways, so I'm just going to call it a Payat. And it, it was made before the dissolution of the Soviet Union, because it says, it does not say made in Russia. It says made in USSR down here below the 6 o'clock. It's, it's very, very small. You can only see it in a macro photos I'm going to show you at the end of the video. It's a very small watch, especially by today's standards. Watches are so big nowadays. I measured across the case, not including the crown. It, from side to side, it, it's about 33 millimeters, so that is pretty small. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. I forgot to turn my phone off. It's turned off now, so I can go ahead and finish this up. Um, it's got an acrylic crystal. It's got some real fine scratches in it. I, I need to polish them out. And um, It's got a 26-14 movement. They have a, The movement has a real good reputation. And the lug width is 18 millimeters. So if you got one of these and want to get a strap for it, get an 18. This watch did not come with a strap when I bought it. I bought the strap separately and I think it matches it really nicely. And it's got them. It's not stainless steel. You can you can tell by the scratches. It's um, it's like a brass or a bronze with some kind of coating, maybe a chrome plating. I don't know. You, if you look at it real close with the scratches, you can see that the coating got scratched off. It's a 17 jewel movement. You can see that right here. Now this watch, all the text on it is in English, not Russian. So I assume that the, I mean most of the payouts I've seen on eBay, I'll say about 80% of them are in English instead of Russian, so I'm assuming that they made a lot of watches for the export market. Here's the back of the watchers. Nothing, no um, words on the back of the case, just that number. I guess that's a serial number. It's a, it's a snap-on case, and there's no text on there indicating it might be water resistant and it's well, being having a snap on case I'd say it never was designed to be water resistant and I snapped the case off and there's no gasket in there so I certainly don't want to get this one wet on in the front of the lens to give you a closer view of it well you can see it running the sweep second hand I'm gonna go ahead and turn the, turn it over and snap the back off so you can see it in action you can see the movement in action. There you go. I'll just let that run for a few seconds so you can enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to close out this video with some still pictures, like still close-up pictures, so you can get a better look at the watch. I hope you've enjoyed this short review video.